The man we know is snaked by Peter Wright and Paul Nicholson. to the PDC's World Series that is coming to you from, 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 from Perth, Australia! Down under event proudly present the Tab Touch Perth Dance Masters. A very special welcome to the millions of viewers joining us around the world. Now, it's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the winner of the Players' Championship Finals is simply known as the Asset Paul Nicholson! Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. A World Series finalist, a World Championship finalist. Let's get this party started. Here he is, Snake Mike, Peter. Dancing up in the commentary box for us tonight is Jill Pike and Rod Harrington. Well, one of the most impressive walk-ons in the world of darts, Peter Wright. He produced some of the most impressive darts as well. If you want to see Peter Wright in Sydney next week, 30 Friday, Saturday at the Qantas Credit Union Arena, you can. Ticketact.com.au for the Sydney Darts Masters, but Peter Wright here hoping to light up the Perth Darts Masters against Paul Nicholson. Who, of course, born in the northeast of England, but made his name, as far as his darting career was concerned, here in Australia, based in Melbourne, and he dominated uh, six or seven years ago in the Australian dart scene. Played in the Grand Slam, qualified for the World Championship, joined the PDC full-time. Memorably, five years ago, won the Players' Championship, won a TV major within a couple of years of joining the PDC. But his career has been on the slide for the last 12 months, Paul Nicholson. In complete contrast, Peter Wright now in the top four in the world. A career which looked over when he gave up darts a decade ago. And now look at him one of the best we have certainly one of the colorful I loved him in Japan the Mohicans we see there was incredible probably has more fans there than Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen he has uh, dressed up for the occasion it looks like they're snake like trousers he's got on wow. certainly what the shoes are love yeah. the shoes by the way Stu yeah I've got to get a pair of those the green and gold of course, the Australian colours for both Peter Wright and for Paul Nicholson. 
very proud to play for Australia in the World Cup of Darts, Paul Nicholson. I'm not so sure that Peter Wright would be very proud of those shoes. Nothing wrong with those shoes, Stu. There's nothing wrong with Peter Wright's darts at the moment. It takes hours to do that, that hair and the paint and the head. He's certainly one of the most recognisable players in the world of darts. He's reinvented himself, pure and simple, hasn't he? And what a good job he's done. And he's backed it up with some terrific darts. Of course, got to the final in Japan six weeks ago. Lost out in a deciding leg to Phil Taylor, Peter Wright. He came from 7-2 down to force a 15th leg. And Taylor pinched him. But in control in the opening leg here against Paul Nicholson. Now a 14 dart leg, 14 darts it is, a very tidy opening start, opening leg. Peter Wright's campaign in the Perth Masters. Uh, Paul Nicholson, he's got to get his form back. It really is struggling. What's gone wrong with Paul Nicholson? He's now out of the world's top 32, and at this stage, he hasn't qualified. It's on course to qualify uh, for the World Championship, down to number 35 in the rankings. What looked like being a fantastic, promising darts career. What's gone wrong? Well, he's taken his eye off the ball. He, you know, he started to have the aggressive hard man attitude walking onto the stage and if you're going to do that you know then you've got to live up to it you've got to throw the darts and it started to get at him and he, and he didn't know how to stop it well and he, and he said he was going to walk up without the glasses without that but he, he's still walking up with them and you know if, if you're wow. going to do it then you have to stick with it but you've got to produce the yeah, darts I mean, he, and it's not he, he, he made himself out and he created a persona as the bad boy of darts didn't he but then changed his mind then sort of got caught in limbo, not sure what to do, whether to, to carry on with the bad boy reputation or to try and turn things around. I think, I think, I think also, I, I have to say that he he perhaps liked to think about the game too much. And, Definitely. And made, made, You're absolutely made, right. Made too many changes. Oh, listen. If you win a TV major and you beat Phil Taylor on the way to winning it, you're a, a good darts player. So, you know, there's no doubt Paul Nicholson is a is a really good darts player, but somewhere along the line he's, he's lost his way. Oh, we could name probably another dozen players in the last five to six years that's actually gone down the same route as Paul. It's a shame, but there's no sympathy in this game. You're not going to play players that are going to let you win just to stay up there. They're going to bury you with all the youngsters, the challenge tour players coming through. No room for mediocre darts anymore. Peter Wright has proved it. That's a 14 dart leg. 107 average for Peter Wright. So the disconsistency from Wright, which he's shown now for two to three years. He's going to keep Wright certainly up there in the rankings well the highlight for me in japan not necessarily the way that he came back in the final to beat phil taylor i think it was more about the way that he came back in the in the semi-final to beat gary and uh, sorry to beat michael van gerwin taylor beat anderson in a thrilling semi-final and you may remember peter wright was 7-6 down to Michael Van Gerwen in Japan. Wow. Well, he took out the 1-4-1 one one in the win decided yeah. in, the, in the deciding leg with Van incredible. Gerwen sat on 44 to go through to the final. It was absolutely incredible. And, and that one visit, that one checkout, encapsulated what Peter Wright has done over the last two years. And it was ironic that in the other semi-final between Anderson and Taylor, Anderson took out the wrong shot yeah. that cost him the match. Indeed. Well, this game it certainly is an impressive start for peter look wright at that, yeah. look at the averages look, look at the averages of paul nicholson sorry you're not going to win and you're not going to win an argument with averages like that from nick 112 plays 17. Um, i think the first two and a half legs of this match have just encapsulated 
what we were saying. Double 18 for Peter Wright. One on red so he will three. return. But, but it has, it, it's shown perfectly how one player is on the up and the other at the moment is on the slide. We can only hope that Paul Nicholson can get his act together, can rediscover his touch. You can see there what he said. As Van Dart went in the five and to get to the stage, I'm sure that when it doesn't go quite right, the harder you try, the worse it gets. Well, well I, I'm I, surprised I to split it. Yeah, I yes, thought he would have. Split, I, was I, I, say. I thought he would have done that there. Yeah, I thought two double eight. He might split it next time around. We shall see. The problem is, Paul is not putting any pressure on. No. He's thrown 15 darts and still wants over 200. You know, and we've all been there. Paul's going through torrid time at the moment. He's put lots of pressure on himself, which is not working. That's probably the best thing that Peter Wright could have done was uh, hit that nine. Well, he could have left it to you and split it. If he listened to me, he probably wouldn't have hit anything, to be quite honest. Yeah, the double nine switch. No, not many people hit that cleanly. It's not 61. the greatest of switch. I know they're professional. They shouldn't hit anything. That's not the case with that double nine. Now we'll probably pin this double four. Game well, there you go. He should have listened to you. He could have won this leg. Half a dozen darts ago, but it's three nil up, and it really is very easy. And you have to say, all too easy for Peter Wright, winner of this. Very much looks like big Peter Wright plays James Wade in the quarterfinals here on Saturday in Perth. Just to remind you, tickets for the Sydney Darts Masters next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday on sale. Qantas Credit Union Arena. Check it out.com.au. If you're in Sydney, fancy watching the very best darts players in the world. Started this leg off really well with two treble 19s, but hasn't followed it up. Still got three dart advantage, and that's been a right. Oh, he's in a maximum. And there's two. Certainly a colourful be the right. They keep talking about snakes, and that's the biggest snake seen for a long time on the side of his head. If you met up with one of those when you're on your walks, I think you do a run Steve. Lovely smooth throwing action. <laughs> Producing darts like that. It is, as far as Paul Nicholson is concerned, embarrassingly one-sided. The majority of Paul's darts are lower the target as well. Just losing a little bit of the power. He doesn't have to go for the bullseye, so he'll just... He can go for the 20 or the 12. 20 will lead in the 16s. And again, Paul Nicholson, too far away to do any damage. This would be another break of throw. Dry smile from Nicholson, especially on those two darts, wow, says it all. Well, he actually, he, he, he had the right idea. He was going for a 180. If they would have left double six to give himself a, a bit of a spark in the end, it's academic. It doesn't matter. It's four nil. Um, Perth Darts Masters 2015 is going very wrong for Paul Nicholson. Probably just have to take himself back to those good times when he won that major, the Players' Championship finals in 2010 in the Circus Tavern, beat Mervyn King in the final, after beating Phil Taylor in the semis. Exactly right. Yeah, sometimes you've just got to go back to basics, you've got to look at your practice regime, you've got to look at what you're doing you know, off the board, is that working for you and uh, just try, you've got to change something, if you don't change something, 
then this won't change. And as I said, Stu, there's so many players that it's happened to that we've seen drift out thinking it's just going to stay there forever, and they never come back. Wow. It is so hard nowadays to get back after you've just lost that. I don't know, it's like a box for his first knockout. He's never the same, and certainly it's the dark players. Well, he has got three weeks to try and sort himself out because Paul Nicholson will also be playing in Sydney and at Auckland. It could make it worse. I mean, 73 average, you know, he'll be the first to admit that's not going to frighten anyone. It's not going to win like the league matches. And, uh, you know, he could go to Perth and do the same and really walk out of this World Series in turmoil. But tops for Peter Wright. But again, no pressure. Paul Nicholson, here we are in the fifth leg of this match, still hasn't had a dart and a double. Double ten. Oh, that was a real flyer. That was it. Double five. It is. And it's 5 0 to Peter Wright. Well, all we could presume is that first dart slip because the second one was back on the money. Yeah, I think you call that a flyer. I mean, that was as nearly as bad as any double dart at double five I think I've ever seen. But the double 12, uh, the double five was nearly in the double 12. But it is 5 0 to Peter Wright. And although you could say. The Paul Nicholson has made it easy for him. Peter Wright would play this sort of game even if someone was pushing him. Well, he's, he's got that type of game now. He's done what he's had to do, and he's not got out of second gear, but he's still played well. Yeah, if you look at the, the stats, I mean, Peter Wright, 8 one forties, one one eighty. Nicholson has not hit a maximum or a 140 there and the 140s are what you make your living from in this game and certainly Paul is nowhere near it. He's hit a 137, he's only had one visit where he's hit two trebles and that was a 137. Just saw in that visit there after the second dart uh, a shake of the head from Paul Nicholson. Resigned to his fate. Certainly tonight he will hope he isn't side to his darting fate dust himself down and get on with it One. still can't get a 140 still hasn't had a dart at a double will this be the leg maybe so a chance to avoid the whitewash six darts from 156 he might need the Have a dart <coughs> at least at the double when he returns. Oh, a lot of pressure. Oh, uh, Nicholson, the treble 20 will give him two, but he's just got to make sure he doesn't miss the 20. Just, just his first dart at a double, but another shake of the head. Can Nicholson put him out of his mis uh, right put Nicholson out of his misery here? I wonder. Well, Peter Wright is trying his hardest to give Paul Nicholson the leg. Nick doesn't want to split this double ten with the first start. Oh, that's a good guy. Should be able to find the double ten from there and does. Puts a leg on the board. The first one for Paul Nicholson. Still finds himself five one down, and that was with the throw. Peter Wright steps up to close this match off and to find himself in the quarterfinals here in Perth against James Wade. Well, coming up after this, Raymond Van Barnard, five times world champion, takes on the Aussie number one, Simon Whitlock.
wanting to enter end the night. World number one, Michael Van Gerwen takes on David Platt. A player that played on the, the professional circuit back home for a couple of years. Good. More of that later. Paul Nicholson. Well, he's avoided the whitewash. I'm just wondering if he's relaxed a little. But even when he had a chance to get a 140, he hit a single one. All very disappointing. You know, it was possibly three years ago, perhaps three and a half years ago, Paul Nicholson was one win at the World Championship away from getting a place in the Premier League. Wow. Yes, you're right, he had one foot in the Premier League after winning the, the Tour Players Championships at the Circus Tavern, like we mentioned earlier. And then all of a sudden it just went, I don't know if it went to his head and he just Six. thought it was going to happen. Some people have gone to the utmost to dress up Batman there, yeah, I mean, that is some outfit. Oh, good to see you've made the effort as well. Wow! Well, Finally, a 140! I think I could get that suit. And a, a chance here for back to back legs and a break of throw for Paul Nicholson. Well, certainly a better leg. You know, this would be a 13 dollar. This should perhaps move him on a little bit. 13 dollars. That's better than the best leg of the match for Paul Nicholson. It's a break of throw, so if he holds on to his throw, 5 3, and. Um, you never know. I picked the right, just switched off. The job was almost done. It's still almost done. He still needs one more leg. Yeah, Peter Wright's appeared in two World Series finals. Less than both. Dubai to Van Gerwen. To Taylor. This is better. Two one forties now for the man. They call the asset. Sixty. Will this be the year that Peter Wright finally wins the big TV major? I think he's got a major in him. However, the longer he goes on without winning one, the harder it will get. Well, certainly going off the ball like this. He's not going to be able to do that against the other professionals. I mean, Paul Nicholson has got himself back into this game now. Possibly six darts for Peter Wright from here. Well, that'll do nicely to leave double fourteen. So it's a complete 28. A convincing win. Double 14 for Peter Wright. Game shot. Well, he got there at the end. Peter Wright. Peter Wright with a rueful shake of the head from Paul Nicholson. Well beaten here in the opening round of the Perth Masters in Peter Wright against James Wade in the quarterfinals on Saturday. The Aussie number one. Is next on the stage here in Perth as Simon Whitlock takes on Raymond Van Barneveld. Don't go anywhere.